Hey everyone, today I'm gonna show you how you can make the boot algorithm to multiply. So there are a few things we need to keep in mind when doing this. The first one is that this algorithm works for signed numbers. And the second one is that if you multiply two 4-bit numbers, you will get an output of 8 bits. Then, you need to keep in mind that there is a multiplicand and a multiplier. We will call this M and Q. It doesn't matter which one it is, but we need to separate them. M and Q. So let's assume you want to multiply 7 times 5. And the first thing you want to do is transform these numbers into binary. The first thing you will think first thing to think is that 7 will be 111 and 5 is gonna be 101. But that's incorrect because as we said, these are signed numbers, so we need to press zero before to let everyone know that these are positive 0 for positive and 1 for negative so next we need to make a register of 4 bits well this time is 4 bits because we are doing 4 bit numbers and it's gonna be initialized in 0 these and these are gonna give us the output the final output but we need to do this like little chart then we want to add q q minus one bit this is to make the algorithm works because we are going to look at this and these numbers to know what to do so let's see as we said we are going to look at the last bits last bits q0 and q minus one this time are one zeros so this, uh, this is the chart where are all the possibilities that we can get so let's see the first thing we get is one zero so one zero is a less b and shift a is this one and b is the is m m because here we have q and as we said we have q and m the multiplier and the multiplicand so the other number that is that is in here is gonna be b so a less b is the same as having a plus b but b in two's complement so we get the complement of b and it's this one so in the second row we are gonna put this plus this so because it's zeros it's the same and in the next row we are gonna shift it first we and we are gonna copy this bit because we are gonna change everything to the right so one one and then we start zero zero one zero one 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 then we should take a look at the last thing we got the last one the last thing we got is this number so again we check the last two bits and we get one one and it's shifting only so again we pull down the most significant bit one we copy that and then we start shifting one one zero one one zero one one so this is gonna be our output now then we check it again we all we get again one and one and it's only shifting so we copy this bit and start shifting one 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 zero one one zero one we check it again and we got zero one and zero one is a plus b and shift so again we are gonna add this one 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 two zero one zero one so in, the, in this row we 
we put the sum and in the second we shift and then we shift we copy this one zero and start shifting zero one zero 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 one one zero and that's all we need to do this four times because let's see we check once twice third and fourth time we check four times because it is a multi it's an operation of four bits if you got an operation of five bits you need to do this five times and finally we get the answer this one is 35 7 times 5 equals 35 so it's okay in my next video I will show you one way you can implement this in Verilog modules so that's all, that's all and I hope you enjoy it and, and find it useful so thanks